Ron Olson again here at SEMA. We'd like to introduce to you a new, uh, new product of ours. It's a welding simulator. And as you know, learning and teaching welding is a bit difficult. Uh, so what we have done, we come up with a simulator that can simulate um, MIG welding and TIG welding and stick welding. And the way we do that, if you can see here on the software, um, we can start a, uh, a lesson. And as you can see here, we can have stick welding, MIG welding with flux wire, MIG welding with gas, or TIG welding. In this case, we're gonna practice with the MIG welding with gas. So I select that. And then we can have different samples. Here we have a T-joint, and we can also have um, this sample here is for a butt weld with backing. And uh, this sample here is an overlap joint. And all that we select in the software which particular weld we're gonna practice on. So in this case, I'm going to the T-joint. I select the T-joint, I can select between uh, steel or aluminum, in this case, I'll select aluminum. And the thickness also of the steel we're gonna practice on, or the thickness of the aluminum in this case. And then you can see here, I can rotate the weld sample, so we can put with this bracket, we can have a horizontal, we can have a vertical or an over, um, <laughs> overhead view as well. So we're gonna select the horizontal weld in this case, and also select the wire, the thickness of the wire, and at least the gas. So now we have set up the simulator to weld accordingly to, to these diameters and these materials. In this case, we start the exercise. And what happens now is with this helmet, the helmet has a camera in, in, in the helmet as well as a display. So when I put this on, I can actually see the screen inside my helmet. So that's gonna be the feedback I'm getting. So to give you an idea, as you can see on the screen, the camera is following me as I'm looking. So in this case here, as you can see, I'm looking over to this barcoded weld sample, if you like. And, but now we wanna turn it in to look like reality here. So virtual reality button is right here. Now suddenly this looks like the real steel, so to say. It also has some guidelines. You can see the voltage, the amperage, and the wire speed here. So all these figures are adjustable on the panel. And it also helps me in this particular training session that I go up to the green check mark, then I have my settings right. And in this case here also, there is um, the adjustments for gas. So I'm gonna show you here, as I put this MIG handle into the picture, now you can see um, the different arrows on the gun. So it also tells me if I have the tip alignment or the, the angle of the torch, the feet and the stick out and everything like that. So if, if I now push the button, You can see that we're starting to weld in the picture. Now, as you can see now, as I look over the weld, I can see my results. Obviously, I'm not the best welder in the world, so I guess I need to practice more. But you can see the, uh, the advantage of this simulator not have to be in the real environment using gas and consuming metals and so forth. I can do this in a classroom type environment. So now I can take down this and I can go back and look at this by confirming this, this exercise, so to say. And if you look on the screen now, here is the weld I just did. So now we can go back and look at it, and the instructor can look with the technician and go over all each element of what was happening during the weld, which is very difficult to do in the real real world, right? We're also looking at the arc length, we're looking at the stick out, as you can see the speed and the travel angle and the work angle of it, and all these three elements I failed on, as you can see. The straightness was, was good, I, I put pretty straight here, and I can look at it from different angles. 
to see the result of, of the weld itself here. So it's very powerful as an instructor and a student, obviously, to see the feedback and why I failed and what the elements of that I need to work on, obviously. So that's with the, with the uh, welding simulator. Then, of course, this could ho be hooked up to a network. We can have many simulators connected at the same time and be networked together. So uh, we see it's a lot of potential for our industry to, to get trained, so to say, maybe um, a buffer between the classroom and the simulator. And as I pass the test in the simulator, now you're going into the real world and doing the real welding. The key to welding, as you know, is the eye-hand coordination, which could really be um, practice in this simulator so there's a lot of advantages here so anyway pretty excited about it here at SEMA so we just want to show it to you so uh, we'll talk to you guys later thank you